Do not lose heart. We were made for these times. I recently republished an article by Clarissa es um, Pincola Estes that she wrote in 2001 and re copyrighted again in 2016. And it seems just as relevant today. In it, she talks about the difficulties we see in the wider world, the wars, the dis discrepancies between rich and poor. And she talks about us as ships who are well built in order to get out into these rough seas and to help calm the waters. It's a beautiful, beautiful piece and I put a link in below. However, not however, it's just, it's exquisite. There's almost nothing you can add. You could also Google it. A lot of people have read it aloud online. I did notice though, I, before I go to sleep, I need something that's kind of calming and not, not too demanding. And so I, I like to read young adult books. This is New Dawn on Rocky Ridge, wrote The Rose Years, which is actually uh, the daughter of Laura Ingalls Wilder. And it's very interesting because they are on the cusp of new century, the 1900s. In it, they are talking about how terrible times are. There's huge disparities between the rich and the poor. There is cases against immigrants. There's overcrowding in cities. And um, Papa, who is Laura Ingalls, Ingalls Wilder's um, husband, Almanzo Wilder, who is from nearby here in New York, he drew on his pipe. Seems as if the country's going great guns and at the sa same time heading for rack and ruin. Imagine that, going great guns and heading for rack and ruin. Does that sound familiar a little bit like today with all of our advances in many, many areas, medicine and technology, and the economy is at an all-time high ever activity between human beings and commerce? Well, um, one thing that, that it just is exactly the same. It's exactly the same, despite the fact that it's very different. And we do definitely have uh, the challenges in the climate and other, other aspects, but um, they are just despondent. They're on the edge of a new century. It's 1899 and they do not know how they're going to make it through the next year. Does that sound familiar? It is a little familiar. I only bring this up because as a creative person, as a person living in this world, creativity can help you find your place in it. And while we don't want to downplay the hardships, we also cannot overstate the fact that human history is full of challenges. And in her essay, Clarissa mentions, please do not let yourself get worn out by these issues. Don't try to take on the whole world. All you need to do is to find out where your heart lies and how to proceed outward from there. We have to start with our own heart. Otherwise, whatever we take into the world will just add to the chaos of the world. This is why I'm an advocate for journaling, because that is the place that I find for myself that I can work through all the tangles that I feel inside and come to the resolution that, oh, I am only one person, but I am one person. There are huge issues, and yet I can try to stand as tall as my five foot three will allow and as firm as possible in the conviction that what comes towards me can be met, it can be managed, if only by my taking a deep breath and helping to bring calm to the moment or the situation. Imagine yourself in line at the grocery store and people are in a rush and things are flying around and somebody's frustrated. Will it help if you tighten up and stop breathing and judge? Or will it create calm if you take a deep breath and let it go and just see where you can help? A line in the grocery store is the smallest thing, and yet it might be the one place today that we can make a difference. Again, as a creative person and as somebody who writes and journals, I find that going through my own stuff on paper helps me be able to be present with people 
in the grocery store, or perhaps next week or when I'm going to be a poll worker again, I may come across situations that are difficult. By having worked in my own quiet time to come to terms with the things in my life, when something comes towards me, just like Clarissa um, says in her essay, we are um, deeply formed ships that are made to be out of the harbor. But first, we have to have a harbor. Find a safe harbor for yourself. In my writing classes, I do my best to set a stage that is safe for everyone. Not to do anything, but simply be. And because I have a background of writing, we'll take up a pen and write what calls to us. I offer a prompt, but I say, follow your pen wherever it leads you. Your heart knows where it wants to go. And it's not easy. It is a challenge. But taking it a little at a time and giving space for yourself, you can find out where that is. And again, I advocate using a pen and paper or pen and crayons or pen and markers to give yourself a space where you can reflect and see yourself outside yourself on the page. So take heart. We were made for these times. You have tools and you have resources. You have the moment. Take a breath. Imagine you're meeting yourself in the shopping line and you see that you're a little ruffled. Just take compassion on yourself. Just a little time and a little breath is all it takes. I'm Kat Fitzpatrick. I teach writing classes online in which I strive to set the stage where we can meet ourselves on the page and find that place within us that rises to the challenge of these times in whatever way you're meant to. Take heart. You were made for these times.